Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maddie and today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 sunny day reads. I recently did a video recommending 10 books to read on a rainy day, so here are 10 books to read on a sunny day. As you see this video, I will probably be in the sun on a beach somewhere because I will be on vacation, so I thought it was the perfect time to do this video. All of these books are going to be YA contemporaries, so if that is not something you're interested in, I'm sorry. There were other books that I tried to fit in, but to me they just don't embody the sunny day read ideal. So without further ado, here are my top 10. And these are in no particular order. First, I have The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han. And yes, this is one book, but it's actually a bind up of three different books. Book one is The Summer I Turned Pretty. Book two is It's Not Summer Without You. And book three is We'll Always Have Summer. I love this series so, 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 so much. This is a story following these two families who are really just one big family. The moms are best friends and they've always been best friends. And so their children have grown up living in the same summer house every year and the children have always just been like siblings but then one summer things change when the main character Belly has become pretty and the two brothers from the other family Conrad and Jeremiah begin to notice her more as just a little sister and this book sounds super young and immature and cheesy but let me tell you this series is so much more beyond that and it actually follows the character through different stages of their lives they start out as teenagers and by the end of the third book they are grown adults this book makes my heart happy. I love rereading this series. If you have not read these books yet, please do so. Do yourself a favor. These are my favorite Jenny Han books. Continuing on with Jenny Han, I have To All the Boys I Loved Before. For this video, I'm just using the first book, but I also recommend the other two books in the trilogy as well. Although I personally wish the third book didn't exist. This is a story about a Korean American teenage girl who all of her life has written letters to the people she had crushes on. She sealed them up, put a stamp on it, and stored them away instead of mailing them out. However, one day she finds that all of the letters she's ever written have been sent out to the people they were written to. And then she starts getting responses from all of these boys and she has no idea what is happening. It is super cute and although it's mainly a romance, there are some fantastic fantastic family aspects in this series as well. Super cute. Recommend. Next I have When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandeya Menon. This is a book following two Indian American teenagers whose parents have set them up in an arranged marriage. The male character is happy to follow with tradition. However, the main female character does not want an arranged marriage. But the two go to a university summer program for aspiring web designers. And this is where they meet and become friends and it's a really cute story. I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites, but I definitely recommend it if you have haven't read it yet. Next I have One Pair of Summer by Denise Grover Swank. This is a book that I read a month or two ago and I absolutely loved it. This is a romance book set in Paris. The main character and her brother are forced to live with their dad in Paris for the summer. Neither of them want to be there because they have an estranged relationship with their father. The main character is also a pianist prodigy and moving to Paris makes it difficult for her to practice. However, when she meets a cute boy, she starts to realize that maybe Paris isn't so bad after all. Next I have My Life Next Door and the Boy Most Likely To by Huntley Fitzpatrick. These are companion books. My Life Next Door is the first book and it features a romance between a girl and the boy next door. And then two side characters from this book are the main characters in The Boy Most Likely To. These books have a little bit more depth than the usual YA contemporary romance book. Family is a huge aspect in both of these books. They also deal with politics, tragedies, financial stress, and so much more. I also found that these characters have a little bit more depth to them than the usual YA romance protagonist. Next, I have Open Road Summer by Emery Lord. I absolutely love this book. While this is a romance, it's also the story of two best friends. The main character's best friend is basically like the young country Taylor Swift, and the main character joins her for her summer tour where she meets a cute musician boy and begins to fall in love. It's super adorable, but it also has a lot of depth to it. The friendship is so great, so strong. The life troubles and the family aspects in this book are great as well. And then, of course, I loved the musical elements in this story. This was a great read for me and it honestly blew me away. And then of course I couldn't make a summary reads recommendations video for you without mentioning Amy and Rogers Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. This is one of my favorite contemporary stories of all time and it features two teenagers as they go on a road trip across the U.S. It is so so great. I love it so much and it also has a lot of depth to it as well. The main character's father recently passed away in a car accident and the main character is struggling with her grief and also a little bit of PTSD. 
Marie. There's also a lot of family troubles as well. I love the romance in the story. I love the road trip aspect and going to all the different places in the U.S. It's so much fun. It's so cute, but it also made me want to cry. All right, those are my top 10 sunny day reads. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more bookish content by me. Let me know in the comments down below what books you would recommend reading on a sunny day. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.